you can level up your game quite easy with the Vibora. Because of the side slice of the Vibora, you can hurt your opponent way more than you can do with the Bandeja. And I think you're able to do it. We're going to make it from easy to hard. So we're going to do some, some steps and we follow uh, the line from easy to hard. So from slow preparation and throw the ball yourself, we're going to play an actual game. Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are in Nordwijk and today we're going to do how to learn the Fibora. And we're going to start right now. Vamos! Vamos! Yes, vamos! Okay, so step number one would be that you prepare against the glass because now you cannot make a backswing and the, and the slice is in the hand. So if you make a very big backswing, it is very difficult to, to do a good slice. I hit the ball out, that's why. So if I'm here, I cannot make a backswing and then I try from here to make a Vibora. That's good. Quit it all. This is the first step that he's uh, against the, the wall so he can prepare like this. Yes. So this is the one and now he tries to do a Vibora from here. Yeah, nice. Nice. Great. Very good. That was good. Oh, oh no worries. Okay, very nice. Uh, so now, Jeroen, I think the next step would be that you try to play a lot of slice. So. You're from here, and extremely, you're going to hit the ball to the, to the fence. Because now you hit a lot of slice. And then, at the end, you will, you will feel the difference between hitting a lot of slice and speed, and to combine that a little bit. Vamos, vamos. accelerate a little bit more um, you see down the amount of slice so I accelerate a lot and now the ball is spinning even more but all my record speed is going into the slice of the ball nice great one more wow okay nice Okay, so now the next step for Jeroen and you um, is to hold the racket slightly lower and if you want more to the back end grip because from here you can put more slice on the ball. So lower and more to the back end grip. The Fibora you only play when it's an easy ball. So if the ball is deeper into the court, you will play a bandeja. And if the ball is closer to the net, you will play a vibora. So you can hold it um, more lower. You will have less control, but more slice and speed into the ball. So that's why the vibora is a very offensive shot. Try it out. step forward a little bit Jeroen, and now you try to hit the fence on the other side of the court. So now we're going to make it one step more difficult. You're going to throw the ball a little bit higher for yourself. So this is replicating, the, it's more realistic. Yeah, you try to do the same with the timing. Wow, good, good, good. Side. So hit the ball really far to your right. So this is too 
common mistakes. Um, so this is maybe too close and this is easier. So if you hit the ball too close to you, you probably hit the ball up a little bit too much. And if you're more, more there, you can try that the ball goes down more. So uh, now we're going to do that. I'm going to be over there. I'm playing the ball to Jeroen and Jeroen is going to play the, play the Fibora. Um, because this is more realistic. So now we're going to try to do the small backswing. The amount of slice, we try to put that into the ball. So um, sometimes when you go to this situation where the wall is not there anymore to hold your uh, the racket from here. So I'm going to, to, be, to be coaching on the, the, the big backswing. So if he's going to make a big backswing, you can uh, go back to the wall to make it shorter again or we have to try to, to create some kind of focus point that he's going to play from a small backswing uh, with the Vibora. So now it's a realistic situation, the goal, Vibora with a small backswing. Vamos! Vamos! goes into the ball in the, at the same height so then the acceleration um, is a little bit dangerous so from the same height if you accelerate you might hit the you might hit the wall so your body will think oh I'm not gonna accelerate it too much because I'm gonna make a mistake so if you prepare a little bit higher and then you accelerate a little bit down like this ball, uh, then it's more, uh, then you can accelerate more and the ball still goes in. Venga, vamos, tío! Prepara muy arriba, por favor. Now we're going to do two targets. I like to work with two targets because you have to adjust. If you, because if you adjust, you can feel the difference. So if I play, let's say I give a tennis lesson and I want to do top spin lesson, I also do slice because the difference is a lot of, there is a lot of difference. And I think you learn more if there is a difference. So that's why we have two targets. The cones or the, 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 the tubes slowly in the middle with the Vibora um, and the bench. There, was, there were some comments about the, the Vibora to the middle. I think there, there can be a slow Vibora because if you play like a bandeja to the middle, if you play absolutely straight, the ball comes out the same way. So if I play the, the bandeja straight, the ball is easier to defend. If I play a lot of side slice, if I play a lot of side slides, the ball will rebound to the side and then it's more difficult to defend. So even though you play exactly to the middle, the ball will rebound. So it's, it's like the effect of two walls that the ball and it changes. That's where you can win some points. If you play cross courts, you're going to try to play uh, deep underneath the bench. Um, because if you play deep cross courts to the back wall first from the left side so from here to there then the ball will stick to the side wall and it's very hard to defend because the ball will stick against the side wall so we're going to try that out with Jeroen Vamos, vamos! Oh. So maybe more space and end really far.
Nice. I need to hit the, the ball a little bit more to the side when you play because now the ball is going through. So your ball stops a little bit. So even though um, if you play to the middle, you can play slow to the middle, but you can also accelerate. But the only thing that changes is the amount of spin. So if you play to the center with your fibra, you might do 70% slice and 30% um, speed. And if you play to the, to the cross courts, you might do uh, 40 or 30% slice and 70% speed. So um, when you play cross court underneath the bench, you do 70% speed and 30% slice, like this. If you play to the center, then it's the other way around. So then it will be, now the ball has a lot of slice and that makes the ball go down. If you play slowly, the ball goes up against the wall. So try to do the acceleration into the slice of the ball. So if you play to the middle, hit the ball more thin, more past the ball, and you hit the ball more when you play cross courts. Is, is, do, you cop, do you still follow us on Twitter? So uh, now um, we're going to use a, a Chinese method, uh, timing, <laughs> sorry, and uh, um, uh, now we do a folly and then a vibra. So you have to adjust a little bit more. So now Jeroen was at the same place the entire time, so then it's, it's easier. Uh, and now we make it harder. So folly, I lure him forward. He has to folly the ball. So I'm going to make it difficult for him that he has to go and work hard to get that ball. And then I play a high ball, he plays a vibra. And then again, until we uh, do 500 balls in a row and Jeroen drops on the ground. Vamos! I'm ready for this. I'm going to ask Jeroen if he can play the folly to the middle, exactly to the... Yeah, so this is the perfect ball. If it's slightly more on this side, it's not so good. Uh, and then the vibra you play underneath the bench. Vamos! a little bit with your fibra now you notice that you're taking it too far here so then it's more durable so it's, it's i think it's better if you prepare more here so try to go more from here so the elbow is here and then from there you play your fibra. if you play it from from here too much you come around too much yes so try to keep it closer to you because the the fibra is more in the in the in the hand than in the the rotation. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, and we played a match. Hot 
YouTube video, another lesson video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Every Monday is a new episode. Jeroen, did yeah. you subscribe yet? Yes, of course. Yes. Yeah, many times, many times. Many times. Yes, for seven accounts. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Yes. Oh, that's how we reached the three thousand subscribers. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Jeroen. Okay. So now we're going to play a rally um, straight. So um, I'm going to try to play every ball a lob. And Jeroen tries to play the Vibora straight. So now we can look very carefully if, he, if his ball chain, uh, turns sideways. So now uh, he's going to put pressure on me with the Vibora that the ball goes sideways. And we've played rallies of 200 shots without a mistake. Yeah? Otherwise we start again. So the goal of Jeroen is going to be now that my contact point is lower than the net. Where do you place the Vibra? Before the line or uh, behind the line? So I do a few now, try to get the ball lower than Jeroen to, to, to try to find a way to get Jeroen's ball lower. My Fibra and Jeroen's Fibra is, is, is a little bit the same. The only thing I can say about oh, Jeroen's Fibra is that maybe he comes on the, on the top of the ball a little bit too much. And I'm going more on the side of the ball. So maybe your contact point Jeroen is one or two o'clock of the ball. And my contact point is on the side. Oh. So I try to do three o'clock, then it would be even better. If you play when it's cold, the smash 
is very hard to do. So then the vibra would be a good way to finish the point or to, uh, to do a little bit of damage when they are at the back of the court. So you can play a super aggressive vibra or uh, a normal vibra. Play, if you play this ball so well, you're going to get this situation. This is for the more advanced players. Uh, bonus, by the way, bonus part. Stein, I saw your comment. Um, the, the bonus part is that the players, if you don't place that ball very good, then they're going to, to be here to volley the ball. So then, the goal is to play the people up before the line and slowly to the center because there's a lot of space over there. So that's like a, a game you play with your opponents. Whew. So if you, de if you defend, if, if you play those shots uh, Jeroen played very well, then they're going to be closer to the line to volley. Then there is space, another part of the, of the court, and your partner should coach. Maybe he's in front of the line, he's over there, playing in the middle. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's it for today. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you, we get 200 likes, we do another Vibra video. So please do a thumbs up. No, this one. Yeah, okay. Um, if you want to see a video featured, let me know in the comments below and I will answer all your questions um, if they are nice, of course. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you see you next Monday. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios.